all ready like yesterday welcome back to my youtube channel i go by the name romi is me on all social media platforms talk of x or formerly twitter facebook instagram and tiktok and as usual mainly on youtube i go by the name romi is me as you can see on your screens right now thanks so much for the support and kindly sub subscribe to this youtube channel and like and most definitely most importantly comment your opinions on the comment section and i really appreciate because that's the most important thing let's get interactive and i really appreciate a wise man once said ruto's presidency will be a one-term presidency and uh things are unveiling right now as you can see uh the impeached deputy president has started shedding light on uh the impunity government that uh, is uh, currently leading this country and uh for me i want to I uh, encourage him to continue shedding light against this uh, bad government that we have currently in Kenya and uh, it's our hope and belief that come 2027 we shall change all this and we shall have a better leadership going forward when uh, we shall be having an opportunity, an opportunity to vote once again. So personally I'll say uh, it's quite unfair to withdraw the impeached deputy pre deputy president uh security because uh, that's not how the law recommends for me i'll say that's not fair and in case uh they want to take the wrong move of wanting to eliminate him that will be one blunder one regrettable blunder this kenya kwanza government will do uh in this status quo because uh for me what i can say if uh, you don't want to work with somebody it doesn't mean that uh the next move is uh to eliminate them fearing that uh they'll start you know putting out uh your secrets out there because uh, i believe the impeached deputy president has a lot to say in terms of uh secrets about this current uh this graceful government so let's see what how or how, let's see how that uh, will unveil because i believe uh this country is a very beautiful country and we shouldn't be locked down by one fella who goes by the name ruto william ruto and uh it's so unfortunate that uh we have we are having to go through this route whereby the, right now they're even thinking about extending their leadership or extending their term to seven years instead of five years. And these are the things that uh, we need to speak against because I believe if you are to move forward, we need to have uh, our constitution respected and uh, followed to the, to, the, to the latter. So guys, it's a, a moment of, uh, you know, awakening because uh, Kenyans have always urged for proper governance but uh, the, the current government has proved to be the opposite of what Kenyans need and even the church or the clergy at large has joined the movement of uh, saying Ruto must go and uh, indeed 2027 it's without a doubt that uh, we shall be sending them home despite of uh, how big they think they are it's all about staying united as uh, kenyans right now we are saying it's gen zote movement it's not it's not only a uh, gen z movement it's gen zote meaning uh, all the all the generation all the generations movement and uh, for sure if we unite it will be a win for us come 2027 or the next elections just in case it comes early because you never know revolution might take over and if it takes over we might have a uh, election quite early and uh, we shall have our country with a uh, better leadership and you guys should, you should actually let me know what you what you guys propose for the next uh, pair of leadership let me see on the comment section you guys uh, propose uh, the names of uh, the next lead leadership or pair of leadership you guys want to see for me my pair my preferred pair will be Jimmy Onjige as the president and then uh, Okio Mtata the as the deputy president. And then we can have other people who are supporting us 
you know, being there in terms of uh, standing in, solidar in solidarity. Because I believe to defeat Ruto, we shall need a very big coalition or something of the sort to avoid having uh, very many candidates which, which, we sh which shall uh, end up uh, dispersing the votes and that will be to the favor of Ruto and that's not what we want. We need just uh, two horses, Ruto, because I believe he will be running to retain his seat. Then uh, now our opposition, which uh, we should have just one, which uh, will be the main one, then uh, shall get uh, the majority of uh, Kenyan votes because I believe Kenyans are so tired with this current government and uh, they are really, really waiting and uh, massively, massively interested in uh, removing Ruto from the president's seat. So let's wait and see if in case a revolution comes quicker or uh, in between 2024 and uh, 2027, it will be even better so that we can... Uh, we can uh, take this man home and uh, later hopefully in prison because I believe he has uh, committed very, very many crimes that won't let him to walk free from the president's seat. So let's hope for the best in terms of uh, salvaging our country to a greater nation because I believe we should make Kenya great again and that will lead uh, to the future uh, to a better future for our young generations and Kenyans at large. So guys, let's get interactive on the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, most definitely, I'll really appreciate. Then uh, something to the clergy. Uh, I was so impressed to see that uh, the church and even the, the our, our Muslim brothers have woken to the status quo that... Uh, we need a better leadership here in, in Kenya because this president, people thought that uh, he was a good president, but uh, he has proven uh, he has proven them wrong, and uh, he has just shown them that uh, uh, he was a tiger, uh, you know, covered himself with a, a skin of a, a sheep, and uh, now he has now unveiled himself to the people that uh, he doesn't care whoever is out there you know he led in uh, you know he led in uh, killings of uh, the protesters the peaceful protesters pro 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 demonstrators in the 2024 financial bill pro demonstrations and it was so unfortunate but i believe justice will uh, catch up with uh, his troops who, who led uh, in the killings of uh, our people or, or our young people so kenyans let's stay awake and uh, let's support anybody that is you know out here to see the out outstage of uh, president ruto hopefully we do this without no blood you know being shed or anything of the sort or uh, victims and uh, we shall really give thanks to the Almighty, you know, because I believe this Kenya needs a better leadership. And if you get that, for sure Kenya will be great again. And it will be for the great of, uh, it will be for the greatness of uh, the upcoming generations. So Kenyans, let's stay awake and uh, let me know what you guys think on the comment section and let's stay interactive on the social media, on my social media platforms. So that I can get to know your opinions and I really, really appreciate guys. So without much further ado, success, successful people look like you. And then uh, like, subscribe and I really appreciate. Stay woke and uh, see you on to the next one. Bye bye.